The first signs of foot and mouth disease in pigs can occur within 24 hours of exposure to virus. Affected animals appear uncomfortable and reluctant to move. The pigs develop a fever and as a result the skin of white pigs may be reddened. Blanching of the skin at the coronary band can sometimes be detected by this time but can be easily missed. However, it is soon followed by the development of vesicles, especially on the coronary band. These usually rupture within about 24 hours. As the disease develops, the animals prefer to lie down and won't move. Pigs squeal if you pat them or feed them and if you try to move them. Reluctance to move may be harder to detect in pigs reared on soft bedding. Lesions are found around the top of the hooves, on the heels, and between the digits and may extend up the legs. Vesicles sometimes occur in the oral cavity and on the snout, but these are found less frequently than foot lesions and rupture quickly. In lactating animals, lesions may appear on the teats. Within three days of signs of illness first developing, the vesicles on the feet have ruptured, leaving raw ulcerated lesions with tags of epithelium attached. As the disease progresses, lesions at the coronary band can lead to early separation and even sloughing of the claws, especially if the animal is forced to move. The exposed surface of ruptured oral and snout lesions is covered by fibrin and other debris as the healing process commences. Old lesions of foot and mouth disease may be recognised by linear depressions in the claws parallel to the coronary band that form as the pig recovers. Take me to the place I used to run Remember the house where I was born But baby you don't know me But baby you don't know I'll show you all the stars I used to hide No one ever seemed to read 